What is up everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. I am happy to say I am back. Well, I haven't really been gone for that long. I've been gone for like three days, which was apparently enough to make people think that I was dead. I'm not dead. I've been keeping everybody updated on the Discord. However, if you're not on the Discord for some reason, well, first of all, make sure to join. And second of all, I flew Axe over from France so that I could meet him for the very first time. So that's what happened. I was basically gone offline for the last four days. But I'm back with some conspiracy theories. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not really a conspiracy theory. It's more of a theoretical theory than anything else. Actually, that makes no sense now that I think about it. As you can probably tell, I haven't had the best sleep in the last few days, but that's okay. So basically, first thing I want to talk about is a theory. Because I've seen this done on the Quest 1, I've never seen it done on the Quest 2, but I feel like if I get the word out there, maybe somebody that has tried it will let me know whether it actually works. Basically, while Axe was here, we've rooted his phone, and he set up something called multiple accounts. Because on a normal Android device, if you go under settings, system, you can set up something called multiple accounts. And it's actually called multiple users. I am gonna autocorrect myself. And through that, you can actually create a whole separate user on your Android phone, give it its own passcode, give it its own storage, and it's completely separate from the other user. You can even give it its own Google account. And you, as the main user, are the admin, which means you get to delete the other users if you feel like. But the Quest 2 is running Android, which means that theoretically, if we were to install the settings app, which I actually made a video about in the past, you can install the settings app. You should be able to, through the settings app, set up multiple users on the Oculus Quest 2. Now, as I said, if you go onto Reddit, this has been done on the Quest 1 before. And the reason I'm bringing this up for the Quest 2 is because the Quest 2 is the one that has had all the issues so far. It's had the issues of, hey, you have multiple people playing on this Quest that aren't you. Facebook gonna ban you. Hey, you wanna lend your Quest to someone? Facebook gonna ban you and everything else, which means that theoretically, I'm saying theoretically a lot, all of these issues could be fixed if we were to put multiple accounts on it, right? But there's also the impact of what Facebook could do with that, which is kind of scary. But because it is running Android, it is possible. And the reason I haven't tried this yet is because I don't know what Facebook's response would be. But I imagine that people that don't really care about what happens may have actually already tried this. Why it isn't all over Reddit, I'm not entirely sure, but if you are one of the people that has actually tried this and you did set up a new user account and it, you know, signed in with a completely different Facebook account, because that's essentially what this does, it allows you to create a new Google account, create a new Facebook account, and just, it's, it's like a brand new phone. But then when you switch back to the first one, you get all your stuff back. Because it's like, it creates a new folder under the storage emulated, in the root partition of the device, meaning that inside there, it's like a whole different storage for the second user, which is cool because that means the user from storage space one can't access the storage space from user number two. It's pretty cool. So basically, I just want to get this out there. I haven't done it, but I want to see if anybody has done it and if anybody thinks this is possible because a lot of people know a lot more about this than I do. So if Anybody knows way more about this than I do, please let me know whether you think this should theoretically be possible or whether you've tried it. But if you haven't tried it, I would say wait, don't actually try it yet. So the next thing that I would like to talk about are the issues with the Oculus Quest 2. Because I received my Oculus Quest 2 back, but when Axe was over, he tried using the Oculus Quest 2 for the very first time ever. And the things that he told me gave me a whole new perspective about what people feel about it and what issues there are with it that I personally don't notice or I personally don't have because he comes from a Windows Mixed Reality headset, which is like a pretty bad headset and he keeps complaining about it in the face plate and he just says he can't have a good VR experience. So he was thinking about getting either the Quest 2 or maybe the Quest 1 or some other headset. So of course I can see why he was very excited to try out the Quest 2 when he got over. So I threw him into Beat Saber and instantly there were multiple issues. And this could be because of like all the different things that I have personally done with my 
headset, which is kind of why I want to get your guys' opinions because I've heard your guys' issues and a lot of problems that you guys have been having. First issue he had was the head strap. It was extremely uncomfortable and he just couldn't get the positioning right. Once he had the headset in the right place for his eyes to see everything sharp, he tightened down the head strap and the headset would go down. And the tighter he had it, it just didn't help. So that was the first problem. He couldn't make the head strap stick in the right place and it was going over his ears and that was uncomfortable, but we kind of expected that. We expected the head strap to just not be the best. That was a compromise. That's why the Elite head strap was being sold and now it's not being sold anymore, I don't think, because of everything just being torn back because it was breaking and snapping and stuff. But that was the first issue, the head strap. Now, the second issue was kind of weird to me, and I think it might be because of my controller wrist straps, but he, his fingers and hands were just way too big for the controllers. I can't speak for that because my hands are tiny, but if any of you guys out there have big hands and have issues with holding the controllers, please let me know if this is like a prominent issue or whether this maybe was just because of my head straps. But to get his thumb and his finger onto the trigger and like his thumb back onto the menu option he'd have to like twist it a lot which cannot be comfortable and if this is a problem damn that, that's a pretty big issue but that was the second issue third issue was the blurring now he did mention this a few times i didn't really get him to tell me properly what he meant by it but a lot of you have been talking about it so i feel like this is an issue that everyone is having but maybe they just don't notice because i don't notice it and that is the blurring apparently it wouldn't be entirely sharp and when i mentioned fogging up well he said no that it's not it's not fogging up it's just blurry which is really confusing to me because people have been saying that there's just like this tiny tiny sweet spot in the middle of the quest where if you look exactly at that sweet spot that's where everything is sharp and then you look away from that sweet spot and things are less sharp well i mean that makes sense but they shouldn't be not sharp enough for you to have that much issues with it again this may be because i have had multiple vr headsets over the years and i just can't complain because i see how much of an upgrade it is but it seems that the Oculus Quest 2 is having these issues that I can't really notice, which is really, really weird, but you guys are noticing it. And now, after having your Quest 2 for like two months now, I think it is, let me know. Have you guys had any issues happen? Well, I've had to RMA mine, but this is after like two months of being able to own it. Let me know if you guys have had any issues what you guys think about it, and whether you still love it as much as you loved it at the very beginning. And I just wanted to throw that in there. So now what I want to talk about is I would like to talk about my RMA process, because I promised you guys that I would let you know how my RMA process went, whether it was clean, whether it was smooth, and whether it went fast. So I actually didn't have any large issues with my RMA process. A lot of people were complaining about the time it takes, and a lot of people were complaining that the headset they received later on was also broken. So I promised to report back to you guys. So my RMA process, all in all, took about two weeks. I sent it off on the 17th of November. I received a message telling me that they have received it on the 23rd of November. And then after that, on the exact same day, the 23rd of November, I received an invoice actually telling me, hey, your order has been processed, which I was like, wait, what? I didn't buy a new one. But it turns out that the invoice just said zero for a brand new quest. And then on the 26th, I got a message saying that my Oculus order has shipped. And then I got it in about three days. So all in all, the entire process took about a week and a half, two weeks. So it actually wasn't too bad. I honestly expected it to be so much worse, especially because we are in the Christmas season. So that could make it much, much worse. But I didn't have any issues. I sent them pictures. They agreed that this was an issue. I did have backlight bleed or at least something that resembled backlight bleed and that this shouldn't be happening. And straight away after I followed their instructions to check whether it wasn't a software issue, they sent me a shipping label, I arranged pickup, and it went really smoothly from there. So I honestly have nothing bad to say, and if you guys ever have to RMA your Oculus Quest, I hope that this maybe puts a little bit of a peace of mind to you, you know? I'm not actually sure whether that's the correct way to say it, but hopefully this adds a little bit of peace of mind so that you don't have to worry that something horrible will go wrong. I'm kind of getting back on track with the videos. I'm trying to figure everything out. 
The last few days have been extremely exhausting, but hopefully all going well, we're gonna have a bunch of videos coming daily again. If you guys have any ideas for videos that you would like to see, because I always like to ask the community first if there's anything they want to see in particular, let me know down in the comments section below or on the Discord. We actually have a video suggestions tab on the Discord, so make sure to let me know there. Now, if you guys are not subscribed and you don't care about what's happening here, you can leave now. Thank you so much for watching. But if you guys are subscribed and are interested in like what's going on on the channel and what's going on in my life, well then you can stay because now it's store time. Basically, Axe came over. Yeah, I brought down Axe from France. That doesn't sound correctly because I wanted to meet him for the very first time. And because of Corona, we only had one day, but that was that we filled that thing in completely. We had quite a bit of fun and I updated you guys on Discord the entire way. So that's what happened during the last few days. Another thing that is going to be happening is I am hoping to do a giveaway and I'm not going to say what the giveaway is, but a lot of you are already thinking about it and have probably gotten it correctly. I'm thinking of giving back to the community yet again, and this one is going to be the biggest one yet, but I need to wait for that money for that to happen, which will hopefully be very, very soon. It will kind of be like right on time for Christmas, which is very good because that's kind of the time you want to be giving back the most. Other than that, we're going to have the podcast happening again today. Today's topic is going to be evil tech, which is how the technology of this world is actually evil and how it's taking over our lives and what we think we can do about it. It's going to be a pretty hardcore conversation. Axe thought this one up. I have a bunch of topics taken down into my Google Keep app. So if you guys are interested in that kind of hardcore conversation topic, make sure to check us out on Spotify if you haven't done so yet, and the video version should be available on YouTube. Now, I know the podcast is normally supposed to come out every Friday, but as we said, I was unable to do that. So hopefully we're going to be back on the every Friday grind of this week. But for today, it's going to be Monday, Monday evening today. So that's going to be that. Other than that, if you guys liked today's video, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we've got merch down below in the comment section, no, in the description. And we don't put a huge massive ad on your body because I hate that, you know? I don't like when companies just advertise on a person. So we've got this sick VR chat doge here and we have the 360p gang mug. If you guys wanna join the gang, this thing boosts your FPS by 300%. Whether it does that by changing your resolution down to 360p, I can't say, but mysticalstore.com in case you're interested. And if you guys are not yet part of the club, but would like to join, well, make sure to join our Discord down below and make sure to also check out our Reddit where I wanna see you guys posting your spice memes. And if you guys wanna be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.